Tales Scouts. Tonight we will learn about the tales of your ancestors. It is time for Hamster History! Before we wonder about where we are from, we first need to ask ourselves, who are we? I mean, what species are we? Of all the wild hamster species, only five were domesticated. But we all came from different places. Are we all from Asia? Yes, Tommy. But different parts of Asia, you see. I am the one they call by the names of Russian Dwarf, Campbell or Hungarian Hamster. In the wild, my ancestors come from the southeast of the Great Altai Mountains, on the regions of Tuva, Transbaikalia and the vast lands of Mongolia. Until this day, some of us live in the great steppes and semi-deserts of Central Asia, surrounded by snowy mountains. The summers are warm, but the cruel winters of minus 30 degrees can chew the toughest hamster to his bones. To avoid that, we dig burrows as deep as one meter, and we close the air passages to keep ourselves warm. Meanwhile, in the cold southwest Siberia and northeast Kazakhstan lives the famous winter wild. People confuse us a lot and call us both Russian dwarfs. We'll talk more about that in another lesson, but just keep in mind that he got his name because their fur changes from grey like mine to a snowy white in the winter, and they are the only species of the five to do that. In Siberia, the night is dark and full of terrors, like step eagles, short eared owls, and some very aggressive weasels, so this natural camouflage is very handy for them. Now, we are moving on to our desert cousin, the Hoboravis hamster. But don't forget to grab your hamster scout's binoculars, because he's the smallest and the quickest of us dwarfs. He is approximately half our size. And as you can see, he is very different from us. He has different fur colors, they are more sandy-like. They are known as the desert hamsters because, well, they live in the most arid parts of Asia. They are found in the regions of Tuva, Mongolia and Xinjiang in China. Just look at the satellite image of where they live and you'll understand. But not all hamsters are dwarfs, so now we are going to a very different place. The most famous one. The one that you probably picture in your head when you think of hamsters is the Syrian hamster, also known as Golden Hamster. See how his fur shines! They are the biggest among us. Syrians are usually twice the size of dwarf hamsters. They can get as tall as 6 inches long. As the name says, and you probably already guessed, the Syrian hamster's natural habitat is... Syria! They live in the arid areas of northern Syria and southern Turkey. Fun fact! Syrian hamsters are really fast. They can run from 3 to 6 miles per hour. That's the average speed for both dwarves and Syrian hamsters. But the Syrians are usually the fastest, unfortunately. A wild dwarf hamster like myself needs about 1.35 square miles to live. A Syrian hamster will need twice that space. So think again when you try to put one of us in a small little cage. And at last, but not least, we have the Chinese hamster. They are really different fellas. They are the only ones that have longer tails, like mice and rats. They are small too, in similar size to the dwarves. The hamster also has a very obvious habitat. They are from Brazil! Just kidding, they are from China, obviously. <laughs> Specifically, central and northwest China, as well as parts of Russia, Mongolia and Korea. If we are from Asia, how do we get here? Calm down, Tommy. That's a story for another lesson. And spoiler alert, it's not a happy one. That's all, my little Cub Scouts. I hope you learned a thing or two tonight. See you in the next lesson. Now go back to your tent. It's bad time. But I'm not sleepy. It's bad time, Tommy. Go to sleep. <laughs>